Hello everyone, this is Gadgets and Wheels with another episode in the series of me and my motorbike. Today I'm travelling over to Chester from where I live in Yorkshire and I'm going to be going to a place called Touratech which is You, if you take a look at it on Google, if, you, if you're not familiar with it already, it's a place that makes lots and lots of different accessories for enduro type motorbikes and um, I'm kind of going over there for a bit of a browse. There's a small version of Touratech in Chester, um, the bigger shop that they have here in the UK. I think it's originally a, I think it's originally a German company which uh, also does very well in the U in the United States, but I'm not entirely sure about that actually. Oh, look at the gravel! Bloody hell! Um, the the Touratech place that I'm going to today is a kind of a small franchise version of it in the BMW dealership in Chester. So it doesn't have that many things compared with the uh, with the one in Wales, but it's certainly great to have somewhere that you can get to. I mean, for me to get to Wales without any brakes, it's a sort of a four hour journey, maybe even four and a half hours. Um, and that's just sort of using motorways a lot of the way as well. But to get to Chester is about an hour and a half, something like that. Uh, but taking all the back roads as I'm doing today probably take me over two hours to get there. But it's great to come and see some of these little, these little villages and little roads and lanes that there are. What I've actually done here is I have used a piece of software um, that comes with the Garmin Sumo SatNav uh, on my computer to to mark out the route to try and get a route that doesn't use just the motorways and that's uh, that's the route that I'm following now. So anyway, I'm heading over to. Um, to Chester, to Touratech to see what bits and bobs they have in there, see if there's anything I want to buy. Uh, yesterday I bought myself um, the full um, aluminium, BMW aluminium pannier luggage top box uh, system which uh, I have to say I'm really really impressed with so far. Um, I just wanted to say on this video as well thank you very much to all those people who have subscribed to me. I've now got over 100 subscribers. Uh, in a fairly short space of time I guess uh, I kind of get subscribers fairly steadily um, but um, it's good to uh, to know that people are watching uh, these videos when you make them and uh, just want to say thank you very much to people who have uh, subscribed already um, and welcome along to any new subscribers as they're subscribing uh, to my channel the weather today looks as if it's a little bit more stable than it was yesterday. It was, uh, I was kind of out and about yesterday on the bike and it was raining one minute, the next minute it was dry. Um, and if, uh, if you had the full winter kind of, not winter gear, but the full waterproof kind of gear on, it was a little bit heavy going actually. It felt a bit humid and it was a bit warm inside the gear. So I decided to go with this full summer gear, which is what I'm wearing again today. Um, and uh, and I did get caught in the rain at one point, really heavy downpour, and got absolutely soaked through pretty much. So uh, <laughs> it's hard to gauge, isn't it, what, what to wear when the weather's a bit like this. Okay, well, I shall chat to you a little bit nearer to, uh, to Chester. So apologies that I didn't uh, continue the recording of this video as it got um, over to Chester. I actually, as you'll see a little bit later in the video, parked up in McDonald's, went in and got myself a McDonald's. But when I was in there, it was raining that heavily that when I came back out, I decided not to put the camera back on, uh, back onto the helmet um, because it was just too wet. Um, so hopefully one day I will 
managed to bring you the full recording of uh, me going to Turretec and uh, hopefully even showing you what it's like inside. In the meantime, do uh, ride safe and hopefully I will see you in my next video.